Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss You Mean It. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp set. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? It's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we 
should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting a rock off.
and always will. Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. 
Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their sub roots. Voltec did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. Guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, nope, just me, Goy, and Creer. Acres is set on being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> See you soon, Brandon. Happy you back. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. I, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> Bring in an anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The bow shirt and a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the suit. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Comoravi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. I can't do this on my own. Ground the other side. Stras, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Sir, uh, are you there? Who is this? 
Catherine? I'm busy working. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you for what you did. Don't worry about it, but you should stand up for yourself. I mean, Strohmeyer doesn't have that kind of authority. You can just tell him to go fuck himself. Oh, I just don't. I'm not that kind of a person. You can't expect people to fight for you all the time. You're a brilliant person, Kath. You're so smart it makes my head spin, but sometimes you just disappear into yourself. Suddenly it's like talking to a fucking five-year-old. It's just hard. I can't just be more like that. Everyone would know I'm pretending. It's not too late to win people over. Strasky likes you. I like you. Reed likes you. Strasky likes everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you think Reed likes me? Catherine, a lot of people like you. You just need to open up a little. Be more approachable. Can I get back to work now? I'd rather not be reprimanded twice in one day. Okay, see you back inside. Over and out. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Uh, maser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... This freaky, so many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now, the brain damage, you guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. stay with us till we die. Some live a few days while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? 
A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Fine. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. Make sure the Ark makes it. Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. Stromer, you there? I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Don't worry, Alice. I'll look back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle and be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See you at the shuttle. Omicron? Well, 
hope they save me a diving suit. Hey, come on! Open up! What is this shit? Armor for the apocalypse? Omicron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky, it's called a radio. They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. The world is dead, Richard. Even if we got inside Omicron, what's left? Grab a couple suits and head for Tau? Strasky, Jonesy, Hart, everyone is dead, and we are right behind them. We're probably the last people left alive. The last moments of mankind. <laughs> no oxygen left. Better sit down. Don't want to fall into the abyss. There are worse ways to die. Probably. Why do they call you M? Huh? Oh, it's for Emma. Emma Alvaro. Uh, I like that. It's a good name. We should have hung out more. I think we would have made good friends. Thanks. I would have liked that. Bye, Emma. Bye. It won't fucking open! And nobody's answering to anything! What kind of cold-hearted motherfuckers would just leave us out here to die? Don't you get it? They're dead. They're all dead. Yeah, you're right. How can you be so calm about this shit? We are dying! How much air have you guys got? 20 minutes, tops. Hey, I'm in red! Seconds away before the CO2 gets me. Strasky. Why wait, right? I'm the master of my own fate. Wait, Stress, what are you doing? <laughs> left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. Can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, uh, I have this thing I need to take care of. So I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. I must have over... Andrea? 
Andrea? Yeah? I was talking to Cameron about protein solubization. Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus. That was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification at black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. It feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... Sorry. was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Linda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? I uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Well, okay, then. Stay safe. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tao, please respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tao. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Answer, Tao. Nothing. It's dead. Let's move out. We'll try the next one. Jesus, did you see that? 
that? Stick to the lamplights. They won't go near them. I can't fail, Glasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! The light is over there! Final push, Raj. Almost there. We just... <laughs> team with me and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... you came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. Instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. Alright, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. Welcome to Tau. What's left of it. Are you guys alright? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit, they all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. Trust a machine to know, 
to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Can't we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value. You know that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. We'll all be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wild to take it, swallow it whole. Uh, I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. did we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life, I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is wrong with this place? <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. Just the warden flexing his muscles. The Warden? You mean WoW? Well, down here he has many names. Warden, the Alpha. Like in Sight Alpha? I thought that was made up. Made up? <laughs> then someone should really fire Johan Ross. Tell him there's no reason to walk these tunnels no more. This section is gonna collapse. <sighs> you should try spending some time in the Abyss, sweetheart. You know when shit's for real. Catherine, move up. Come with me. Oh, okay. Hey, wait for me! Careful with the Ark. Take it easy, it's not going to... Oh. For a moment I thought it was going to collapse. Find out what happened to the Ark team. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine, it's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. 
Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. 